Hello and welcome. I am Raziel, and so today it was the preview, you know, so more models for Games Workshop to show off to the world. Now, honestly, some are good, some are very good, and some are not so great. Now, I want the ones I want to say I want to talk about first are the Horus Harrius uh, Mark VI Assault Marines. Now they look, they don't look too bad. They look nice. And, you know, they are what you do expect. They're assault means a bolt gun, bolt pistol. And that's about it. Now, while looking at this, uh, something did kind of strike my uh, my mind. I was like, hold on. And then I realised something. It's a 10-man box. Now, I know that doesn't seem too bad, but here's the thing. Most of the plastic boxes are two units. The Terminator's the Mark IV, Mark VI, the Mark III, you know. And they're around... They're forty five to fifty five pound. And now the terminators you can go, all right, fifty five pound for ten terminators tends to look quite cheap. However, these aren't terminators this time, these are assault marines. And to me the price of these are gonna be very if they are you know if they are, you know, forty five to fifty five pound, that does seem really steep to me. Now here's why. Jump packs cost six pound from Games Workshop. Uh, you get a box of uh, just normal marines, any of them, and they, and you give them bolt guns and uh, bolt pistols and chain swords, and there you go. That's f so you'll pay fifty six pound, and you'll have a squad of tactical marines and a squad of assault marines. Easy peasy, right? That's it. So. You're gonna be. You can save money by not by getting these and not getting the box. It's a ten man box, and honestly, my worry is the price of this. If it is fifty pounds, forty five to fifty pounds, it just seems a bit expensive. Um. So anyway, I mean, they look good. I like the armor. I do like that sort of breastplate on top. Um. I I think they look pretty good, but it is of course the fact that you can pretty much do these cheaper already. Uh, is that, that's going to be a problem for them, and I think that's the way it's going to be. You know, um, that's it. I mean, they look good, but you can do them cheaper, and that's it. So what else? Oh, we have Dark Angels. I love Dark Angels. They're my favorite. One well, of my favorite legions. They're definitely one of my favorite chapters, along with the Blood Angels. And you have, uh, what's it? The Necron Duty. Duty. Um, he looks pretty cool, as well. Again. See, this is the sort of thing when I say this model would be great without that tactical rock. This is the sort of thing I talk about when I say tactical rocks are horrid for certain models, and this model shows it off. You have this model, he's floating in the air, and he looks nice, elevated, in a position of power, he looks fantastic, and he's on a rock. That kind of takes away any of his majestic or even you know, creepy attitude. If he's just sitting, if he's floating, that's brilliant. But having that massive rock right there, oh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't. It's silly at this point, you know. Uh, everything else about him is really good. I like the balls on his back. <laughs> I'm so childish. The little scarabs on his base. You know, his the cube breaking apart. Oh, it looks so good. What's his name? I should have read his name for on Orican. Orican. Yeah, he's really nice. He's part of a narrative campaign, the Prior Nexus. Of course, we saw that with Kill Team not that long ago. Yeah, it looks good, except that, that rock. It's a, it's a silly rock, and it is silly. You know? Ah, uh, yes. The Dark Eye interrogate Chaplin on the card. Is that Asthma Day? Yep, Asthma Day. First things first. See all that smoke? I'd get rid of it. I would just care coming out of it. I would not have it on the base. I would get rid of that. Yeah. He's like, um, well, he's, he's stabbing a Black Templar in the head. Black Templar is not even enough. Is not as devout enough, so he's getting stabbed in the head. Oh, good, you don't have to do the smoke. Yes, okay. Uh, the smoke looks silly, I don't like it. So you don't have to do it, thankfully. Uh, the unrobed hood, again, looks dopey. But again, you don't have to. It's like they know what looks daft and what doesn't, so they give you the option to make it look better. Uh, you can have a robed head, which looks really cool. Robed head, no smoke. That's fantastic. That looks great. Looks like Asmodee. 
you know, he looks daunting, he looks nasty, he looks like he's going to hurt someone to get some answers. Okay, so, and also, why is he holding that thing right at the bottom? I would also move his hand on his Crucius Arcanum to have it at the bottom, not at the top. I would, I would ask something I would do, I'd convert that. Because that looks silly having it at that, that position. It's like he doesn't know how to hold it properly. Other than that, it's a nice model. And I like the fact you've got options here, but you can make him look so cool. You know, have his hood up, get rid of that thing on his head. He's n it just looks silly. Um, where's his candles gone? Oh, we got rid of his candles, that's a shame. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, and the Codex is coming up next. Codex Orcs and Dark Angels are next in spring. Then we've got Aceptus Custodes, Tau, and Chaos. Oh, and a brand new army. There's an announcement. No one let on. That's good. Brand new army coming. Redacted. Redacted. I think that's Agents of the Imperium. I know I've been wrong so far, but I think that's Agents of the Imperium. I think they're getting their own codex. But yep, there you go. In summer, a brand new army. Which reminds me, where's the new army for Horus Heresy? We're meant to know. It's meant to be out next what, next month, month after. Still nothing. Anyway, so that's Dark Angels as my day. Pretty cool. Uh, Dark, Deathwing Knights. No, Deathwing Terminators. They look good. They look like Deathwing. I like the new helmets, to be honest with you. They look really cool. Definitely really cool uh, if you want to convert these for uh, Grey Knights. They would look really nice as Grey Knights as well. Yeah, I like the new helmets. They are the new Deathwing. Though I would say, at this point, if you really want these, just get the old ones and save yourself some money. But they do look good. I like the new helmets. I like the new shields. They are Deathwing Knights. Uh, they have a little watcher helping them out. Yeah, he looks really good. But is it Deathwing Knights or a Terminator? Uh, Tactical Dreadnought Armor. Yeah. Oh, they are the new Terminators. Uh, in a circle, Bolter's Patience. No, they're not Deathwing. They're not term uh, Terminator Squad. It doesn't look like they're actually a ter Terminator Squad. They are a Deathwing Squad. Deathwing Knight Squad. Um, you, you Swords or maces that are sufficient hooded heads. Yeah. It doesn't look like you can give them bolt Storm Bolters. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest with you. I would have liked to have the whole kit like they used to. That was no, that's going to be another problem. If this is more expensive than the pre can, kit you can get now, see the Deathwing kit you can get now is fantastic. You have enough to make knights. You have enough to make normal Deathwing. You have loads of bits in there, which is great. Which is fantastic. It looks like you're not getting the bits. I would definitely buy some Deathwing Terminators right now. Just to stock up on those bits if you want those on your Terminators. Um, that's what I would do. But yeah, they look nice. Asmodee Day looks nice if you get rid of it. Bloody smoke. And you have his head uncovered. Okay. Uh, don't talk Age of Sigma. Don't Harris Heresy. Necromunda gets a car. Kill Team get Night Lords. There's a shocker. Uh, of course, it is all stealthy and stuff. So not that much of a shocker. To be honest with you, something we should have expected, but you know, it's something that was should have been expected, but not expected at the same time. They look pretty cool. They do. Uh, they look like. Uh, why did they? Oh, the shoulder pads. It's just the shoulder pads. If I'd get some, I. It depends how the sprues are. If the shoulder pads are separate, uh, you could quite easily convert these into any other legion. I mean, it's not much difference from anyone else. Just get their shoulder pads and some of the heads, you know. Easy conversions if you don't want to do Night Lords. They look good, nice and gribbly. That Space Marine on the banner pole. He looks nasty. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this, because they look good. But I think, I don't know. They could just be any Terminator uh, Space Marine, Chaos Space Marine, to be honest with you. There's only a couple here which actually shout Death uh, Night Lords. That's the ones with the helmet with the bat wings. The guy with the, um, you know, the, the lightning claws and, you know, the Conrad Curtis head sort of thing. You know, looking like his Primark. So there's not much to really say as you couldn't paint these any, as any of us. Yeah, I think you could quite easily make these any other Legion uh, with a, a different 
to, uh, shoulder pad. That's all you need to really change on that. And finally, the Necrolith Bone Dragon. Oh, for the old world. This is actually quite a surprise to me. I like this because you got... I know I said I was hoping to see the whole new box, which would be great. Uh, this is a nice second because it looks good. I quite like the look of it. It looks really dead. Oh, see, one other thing about the undead is that it, <laughs> it never looks dead. It looks zombified. So you've got all the rotted flesh. This looks full on dead. And that looks really good. And it will be available when the Tomb Kings launch alongside the Bretonians early next year. Early next year could be anything up to December, apparently. I don't know when it's going to... But early next year. And they're going to have the rules on Monday, even better. And what I was reading about this, because this is the one I was talking about. It's a plastic kit. This is good. This is good. Like, we should... It's always seemed weird to me that, you know, Horus Heresy is going from resin to plastic. And for some reason, the old world's going from plastic to resin. Uh, this is being a big kit, being a plastic kit means it's going to cost money. Of course, it's going to cost quite a bit because it's Games Workshop. But honestly, it could, it could be just like 45, 35 to 40 pound. It's all bones after all. But the fact it's not, you know, a metal, it's not a resin kit really means that they, they seem to be understanding that people don't want to pay out for resin. They don't want to pay out, you know, Forge World prices. I know Forge World doesn't exist anymore, but they don't want to pay it out. Anyway, overall, I want us to have a look at Necromunda, I think. That new carve, because this is the thing that makes me laugh about Necromunda. Um, so you get these nice new vehicles. That looks really cool. You know? It's for... Uh, Tratoros is a reliable workhorse found on the frontier world. Hazardous outlands across the Imperium. It's adopted, adapted as far as, uh, and bigger six-wheeled Venator can be can support rear. Yeah, by far ranging scout vehicle by certain regiments of Astromir Tom, such as the Elysian drop troops. See, is that a hint that they're going to do Elysian drop troops, and this is going to be a vehicle with bits ready for them? That would be great. I think a lot of these. It's really weird. You get all these vehicles for. You know, Necromunda and the Jane Steeler Colts that the Imperial Guard can't use, even though they're Imperial vehicles. Anyway, it's quite cool. I like it. I would like to see it in an Imperial Guard army. It would look really good. There you go. That's the previews. It's not too bad. It looks pretty good. Pretty nice stuff. Uh, I think the Assault Marines may end up being overpriced uh, because you'll be able to do it cheaper. But, uh, let's think. The Dark Knight Lords look good. But honestly, that's okay. If they look like Chaos Space Marines with Night Lord Gubbins more than anything else. The Dark Angels look good. You can the fact they're giving you options for Asthma Day. It's brilliant that you don't have to give that horrible smoke. You can just you can do without that. And of course, you know, hood up. And uh, the Deathwing Knights are pretty good, but they're going to be lacking the extra bits of a Deathwing already have. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem as well. I don't like that. I mean, it's good, they look good, but there's many issues here which are going to... It's going to be a problem in the long run, to be honest with you. Uh, if you want to get those Deathwing bits, buy Deathwing Terminators now. There isn't that much of a size difference between old Terminators and new Terminators. Not as much as what people are saying. Especially not with Deathwing ones, either. Anyway, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good day. I hope you enjoyed the preview. And I'll see you all again soon. And... Link to Raylan Games down below if you wish to save up to 20% on your Warhammer or 20 uh, free delivery after £20. There is, of course, uh, what is it? Forbidden Planet, comics, geeky stuff, Funko Pops, all that. Uh, there is, of course, uh, my merchandise comics, t shirts, etc. What everyone else does. Uh, and Patreon, but as always, uh, treat yourself to something nice. For I just don't give me money. I'd rather you do it that way. Like I said, I'm going to drop the whole Patreon thing when I can get this channel monetized. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.